Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilichi Friday. Awesome last Friday in June. Can you guys believe it? Hopefully you've been having a great summer so far. So thank you all for joining me. I know people are probably just kind of popping on. Hey, Miss Jamie, hello and welcome. So as you guys know, I pretty much every Friday go live right here on the Stamp Studio Facebook group. I took last Friday off because we're going through some renovations. Hey, Peggy, how are you um, here at the house? And it's a little bit, um, well, yeah, it's a little bit dusty and crazy around here. So it's amazing. Like the bathroom remodel is upstairs, but everything has to come in through the house and then up the stairs. So anyway, I was like, John, you cannot be here on Facebook Live. And so guess what? He's upstairs working right now. So at some point, I think he was really wanting to make his cameo appearance on Facebook Live. So we may be seeing him <laughs> at some point. Anyway, he's a great guy. I was like, he's kind of chatty though. So we'll have to keep him like the chatting to a minimum, right? So, and I'm trying to talk softer too, because I don't want him to hear me. <laughs> so anyway, hey Vina, how are you doing? So you guys know every single week we pick a product of the week, right? So this week was the playing with patterns designer series paper so can you guys see this is a huge pack of paper i couldn't even fit all of the designs on one page so we've got what six different front and back designs there along with some of the coordinating colors and then here is the other half the other six coordinating front and back designs of the paper super cute i have to turn around so i can um, read the colors that coordinate because it's funny when i was flipping through the catalog um <clears throat> One of my notes, I always, like in the very beginning when we get the catalog, I have to scribble all my thoughts about everything. And one of them was what a great like color combination this was like in this pack of paper. So we have, I think I can do this, right? Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Night of Navy. Can you guys see? Coastal Cabana, uh, Purple Posy, and Whisper White. So those are the coordinating colors that are used all throughout the patterns of paper. So super cute, fun, like bright, bold, playing with patterns. So lots of stripes and polka dots, um, funky patterns too. So super cute, fun, fun stuff. So we are gonna be making a couple of projects with our product of the week a little bit later on on our Facebook Live, right? And you guys know, right, so after um, the Facebook Live is done, I'm gonna get everything, hey, uh, Teresa, I'll get everything uploaded to my blog at Gathering Eastbrook com right you will be able to get the item codes um, names of everything that we use the dimensions of all the projects um, you know for the projects that we made so that you can recreate them yourself and then also order what you need to be able to do that so check that out that'll be uploaded I'm hoping because the other thing is I have my buy one get one free event this afternoon again down at the stamp studio but I tried to get most of my um, posting and stuff done before um, normally I do it like all afternoon this afternoon after Facebook live but I knew I couldn't do that so anyway I'm gonna get everything hopefully uploaded to my blog and YouTube and everywhere so you guys will be able to check out um, you know get all those details okay so and then also right every single week when we make these projects um, you can get the projects for free with at least a $30 online order. So that'll be true for this one as well. So hey, Philomena, how are you? So glad you can join me. So thank you guys. So yeah, let's see what's going on. My head is like a little bit, um, I don't know, fuzzy, right? I haven't been here in a week. And then this, um, you guys know if you ever go through a remodel too, right? Um, it, it kind of takes over your whole house, whether <laughs> whether you realize it or not. Um, so yeah, I'm ready, I'm so ready. I'm so ready to see it when it's all done. Super excited about that. So yeah, it's, it's definitely worth it, but yeah, the chaos, you know, I'm like a pretty calm. <laughs> so anyway, the chaos can be a little bit much sometimes, but <laughs> we're doing just fine. So, um, okay, let's see. We have so many things I wanna make sure you guys know about, right? So um, next Tuesday is June 30th, the last day of June. So don't forget, if you have not gotten that starter kit deal and you're thinking about it, do it now, right? So you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So five days left to take advantage of that awesome starter kit deal where you get to pick a free bundle, any bundle in the catalog, plus the $125 in product, and you only pay $99 plus sales tax. So that is an awesome, awesome deal, right? So make sure if you're on the fence about that, let me know if you have any questions. I'd love for you to become an Inkspired Stamper and be a part of our group as well. 
yourself, so, okay? And actually, we had a couple of people take advantage of the starter kit in the last couple of days, so I wanna give a welcome to Sandra Bookmeyer and Diane Kreitz. They both bought the starter kit, either through me or somebody in my downline, so they are now one of our expired stampers and have joined our fabulous group of stamping friends. So, congratulations, ladies. You were smart cookies, right? Took advantage of that awesome starter kit deal. So, very, very cool. And then also, the other thing to know is the promotion so I keep saying this because I think like everyone has huge wish, wish lists, right, in the catalog. So if you, first of all, buy the starter kit, get that awesome deal, then get your big Mac Daddy order in. That's step two if you still have this huge wish list. If you put a $250 order in, either all by yourself or maybe you accumulate orders between you and your friends and family, right, but you get a $250 order, then you get $50 in free stuff. Normally, it's just not just, but it's $25, so they doubled it. So you get $50 for free with a $250 order. Plus, you get your discount if you're um, putting it through your own demo ID. So it's an awesome way to get tons and tons of product right now. And again, it ends next Tuesday, June 30th, okay? And then, starting in July, they just announced we were gonna be doing the bonus days, they call it. We've done it for the past couple of summers, either in July or August, I think. So, starting July 1st, for every $50 order you put in, you get a $5 bonus days coupon that then you can use um, toward an order in August. So, that is an awesome thing as well. So, lots and lots of good stuff happening right now and coming up in July, okay? So, and if you guys have any questions on that, let me know. I know I always try to throw my phone number out there call text me um, if you ever have any questions my number 989-330-0259 hey Susan how are you so glad you can join us today <laughs> oh awesome I'm so glad to be back it's just um, it's weird when you take a week off I feel like I've been gone for forever so it's nice to be back and thank you for sharing Miss Susan I appreciate that as well love those shares you guys truly love those shares so thank you very much and Philomena thank you for sharing the video too so awesome okay so a um, couple more things I want to remind you guys about I always have to check my notes but I think I've said everything so far so okay Today is the last day, Nikki, hello. Today is the last day to order the Designer Series Paper Share. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of money, right? But $65 gets you all of this paper. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of flip through it. So some of it is six by six, so I've got a huge, can you guys see, like, look at, look at all of that paper, right? So I'm trying not to like crinkle anything up, but this is what you get for $65 in the Designer Series Paper Share. And then look at, so, Yes, yeah, six by 12 sheets right here. So if the cardstock, or excuse me, if the designer series paper came in 12 by 12, I just cut it in half. So you get a six by 12 piece of it, right? So let me see, I kinda, can I kind of flip? Will you guys be able to see? You kind of get the idea. That's the Playful Pets. There's the Peony Garden. I don't know if it's showing up so well. If I flip down a little bit more. The In Good Taste bunch of that, right? The Forever Greenery, and it's like Artful Blooms, maybe. So that's only one side, right? So then we'll flip fast, right? So look at, you get this whole, oh my gosh, look at all that paper that you get, right? That glare is weird. But yeah, so that's part of it. And then, this is an even bigger stack. We have tons of um, six by six paper. So you guys, you actually get one of each sheet for free of last year's in color designer series paper. And then you get the brights, regals, subtles, neutrals also, and then all of our new, oh my gosh, you guys probably can't even see all this. It's all like commingled in there. Anyway, it's awesome. Huge stack of designer series paper. Artistry Blooms, thank you. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, so awesome. $65 gets you all of this. I'm putting my last order in tomorrow. So let me know if you guys want to participate. I would love to get, so basically you just get like um, a quarter of a pack of all the paper, and then you can decide what you love and what you need more of. So awesome way to get that sample of everything of all of our beautiful new paper and there's so many awesome patterns of paper in the catalog right okay um oh other thing bingo we're gonna be playing bingo not the online version i'm gonna try to do that later this summer either july or august i have to get my calendar together so keep you guys posted on that but if you're local and want to come play bingo with me down at the stamp studio um here in alma we are playing on Wednesday, July 15th at six o'clock at the Stamp Studio and actually need RSVP and payment ne by next Monday because it's taking so long, you know, for orders to get here. I need to get everything, all the prizes and the goodie bag and all the treats and everything 
need to get everything ordered for that um, on Monday. So let me know if you want to participate. We've got room. Love to have you join us. So yeah, I know Susan online bingo was very cool, wasn't it? So yeah, we're, like I said, we're going to try to do that later this summer. And hey, Miss Becky, how are you? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, I think, let's see, let's do our first drawing for sharing the video, right? And signing up for my email list. Your name is in the little basket right here. And Becky, perfect timing. Thank you for sharing the video. You guys know I love that. Truly appreciate. That's what helps me kind of reach new stampers, kind of help um, keep my business going. So thank you very much for that. Okay. Oh, hey, actually, what are we going to give away? Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> okay, so we have the four free handmade cards, right? So we've got that one and that one and that one and that one, right? So this is what you're going to win if I pull your name out of the basket right now. Okay, so let's see. Okay, lots and lots of names. Thank you, Susan. Fun, bright colors on those cards. I agree. Okay. Okay. Gonna whittle it down to one. There we go. Ah, Miss Debbie Green. All right, we can put that in there. There we go. Yep, you can see. Okay, so congratulations, Debbie. I will get these cards mailed out to you. And thank you for sharing the video. Um, yeah, sharing. You did the sharing, right? Because some, if you sign up for my email list, if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do that, and your name will go on the drawing next week. Okay. All right, so this week, well, for next Friday, we are going to be drawing for the beautiful. These are the Elegant Faceted Gems. You guys are all so sweet. Love the congratulations. So these are part of the Peony Garden Suite, so kind of soft, subtle, beautiful um, set of faceted gems, right? So we have... Um, I'm going to say these are the pearlized white, that's kind of like a petal pink, and then a clear. You can't maybe see, you can kind of see the faceted aspect of them, like they're etched almost like a diamond or something. They are beautiful, so pretty, soft, um, just a really nice little something to add to your project. So next Friday we will be drawing for these. Okay, yeah, let's see. I always have so much good stuff. Let's see what's next, what's next. I'm looking around on my table trying to decide what to tell you. Oh, actually, pretty bling. Yes, it is, Susan, exactly. Pretty bling. <laughs> I like that. That's very cool. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, I know. This is what I want to tell you guys about. So, we had another one of our Inkspired Stampers Reach Qualified Recruit, which is when you reach $900 in sales, so your first $900 in sales. After you buy the starter kit, you become a qualified recruit. And I love to reward people for getting to that point, actually for all of the different levels and promotions. I'm, I'm, I'm a big like believer in rewarding people for getting to those milestones. So, congratulations to Miss Tracy Claire. She just reached Qualified Recruit this month. Um, she probably took advantage of that awesome deal where she got $50 free on a $250 order I'm thinking anyway so she also gets a $25 shopping spree for me as a thank you for um, as a congratulations I guess I should, I should say more than a thank you so congratulations for reaching qualified recruit so congratulations Miss Tracy on that so and that's true for anybody that buys the starter kit through me or anybody in my downline I reward anybody if you're in my first second or third level so that means if you buy the starter kit through me by somebody who bought it through me or by somebody through bought it through either of those levels, if that makes sense. <laughs> I think it does, right? So anyway, yeah. So it doesn't matter who you get the starter kit from. Just get it through me or somebody in my group. Become an Inkspired Stamper and we'll give you lots of fun free stuff as your rewards for moving along in the compensation plan. Okay, very cool, right? Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, so um, I actually, this is crazy because I... Um, I did not have any online orders over $30. I did have one order that was a bit under $30. So um, we don't have another drawing to do this week. So I always say this when these weeks happen, like you guys, I really don't get that many online orders. So your chances are always really good of winning this drawing that I normally do right now on Facebook Live. If you put an order in of at least $30 online, use the host code, it's always on my blog. I'll give that to you in just a little bit too. So, and I try to put it here on our Facebook group also. So yeah, 
But actually what I decided was because I had only one gal put an online order in and like I said, it wasn't quite $30. So her name doesn't go in that drawing, but I'm like, I'm gonna give her some of these free faceted gems anyway. So Miss Jenny Theo Harris, you will be receiving a package of these faceted gems as a thank you for being the one online order right now. And she's gonna get the cards that I demonstrated last week too, or two weeks ago, whenever that was. So in the meantime, now between, anytime between now and next Friday, uh, no, sorry, next Wednesday, when we do our Facebook Live, your name will go in the drawing to win. This is the awesome, the 2020, or the 2020, 2020, 2022. <laughs> How many times can I say that, right? The new, the new In Color Designer Series paper pack. So Misty Moonlight polka dots are showing on this side. And then this is the Just Jade, kind of the wood grain look over here on this side. So I'm not gonna open it because I'll probably have to mail this and I wanna keep it all nice and intact and beautiful and perfect for whoever wins this, right? So if you put your online order and your name's gonna go in the drawing to win that um, Designer Series paper pack next Friday on Facebook Live, okay? Um, Let's see. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I think we're ready to turn the camera down. I have another thing I wanna show you. Maybe I'll try to show it to you right now, and then if it doesn't work out well, then I'm gonna flip the camera down. So this is fun because I wanted to give um, a reminder about In Color Club too. And so this is another fun way to kind of show. This was the make and take for our um, Inspired Stampers at our group meeting. And I am mailing these things out now too. So anybody that's in my group that doesn't, um, isn't able to come to the meeting, um, they can pick them up on my porch or I can mail them to them too. So I hadn't been doing that before the whole COVID thing happened. And then when we couldn't meet at all, right? It was like, okay, I know people will still wanna be stamping. Um, so I kind of converted and, well, I had to change my whole time frame too, which is hard for me. Um, had to prep them much earlier so that I could try to get them mailed and to everybody by the time we had our meeting on Facebook Live. So anyway, it's just me and my brain having to kind of rearrange things. But basically, now you can get um, the, the make and takes mailed to you if you would like, if you're a part of our expired stampers group. So again, look at this is so cute, right? The introducing 2020, 2022 in colors, right? So and then it's this fun, it's the little mini pizza box. And then there is an example of all the colors right there. And then let's see if I flip this up. Will we be able to see this right? And then this actually, maybe it should almost be mounted in there, I don't know. But so then we show each of, yeah, you guys are gonna get an idea of this, right? So there's the Misty Moonlight and it's like a little accordion book in here. And then here is the Bumblebee. And then we just keep flipping, right? And then we get to the Just Jade. And then finally, the magenta madness isn't that so cute so they all just kind of flip right down in there i'll show you again another view um, as we are when i flip the camera down so but anyway i thought that was so fun um, and a great kind of display like i have this down at the studio too so i can show people hey check out our new in colors so and that's kind of a fun little sampler of um, the different patterns in our new designer series paper packs so very very cute and thank you guys i thought it was pretty pretty cute too so okay I think we are ready. It's funny because I'm like, whoa, I blew through the lot more quickly than I thought I was going to. All right, so yeah, I think we are ready. Let's see, let's see, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, yep, yeah, I think we're good. All right, so turn your heads away for a sec. We're gonna flip the camera down and we will, a couple more things to show you and then we're gonna do our stamping. Okay, here we go, flying through the air as usual. Let's see, let's get that over there. Oops. Hmm, I've hit some button. Okay, go away. I don't know what you guys are seeing right now. Sorry, I'm adjusting this because it's bugging me, but okay, make the way. Oh my gosh. There, okay. Oh good, you were still seeing the ceiling. That's better, that's much better. Okay, flipping the camera around. There we go. Let's see. Kind of fix things. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> there, okay. All right, I think that's good, right? So let's show you this again. So that was the little belly band that went that fit right over top there, right? So here's another little view of it, right? So there's the little pizza box. And you flip there, I'll kind of flip them open fully so you guys can see. So again, Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, so cute, right? Just Jade, flip that down, that shadow's not good, right? Um, magenta 
didn't, I didn't go far enough. There was one more. <laughs> Cinnamon cider. I didn't show you that one earlier. So there you go. Super cute, huh? All right. So fun little make and take there. Oh, Lily's coming. I just looked out. Oh, good. Lily can come say hi. No, <laughs> she won't though. She's going to run through the house. She forgot her sunglasses. So I think she's coming to grab those probably from her room. Okay, so here, in the meantime, we will get the host code out right there. The N2NT6VJF, this is the host code. Hi, Lily. I did not see your sunglasses here and I didn't get a chance to run upstairs. So go do that, all right? <laughs> okay, um, let's see, I wanna grab my grid paper too. Oh no, actually, another thing I want to, just do the quick reminder about the In Color Club, right? Okay, so, just don't forget you there's still room i have room for more people if you're thinking oh yeah i really do want to get everything in those ink colors right so in color club you get the full pack of cardstock you get the ink pad you get the ink refill you get a full bolt of the ribbon you get the stamp and write marker you get the stamp and blends markers and then you get the designer series paper pack heading out Are you fine? oh i think it's on the counter yeah all right have fun <laughs> it's in a mess on the counter yes okay nice. sorry bye <laughs> all right so yes yeah, so you get all of this right in the in color club for 47 dollars per month so basically you're going to get everything in say just jade one month and then the next month magenta madness and then and so on and so on for five months right okay so still have room let me know if you're interested love to get you signed up for the in color club okay all right and then you can make that cute box too yeah you know what if you make the box, I'll send you the um, info on how, to, or if you sign up for In Color Club, I'll send you the info on how to make that cute little box too. <laughs> it's really not that difficult. Okay, so I think, let's see, are we, oh, I know, I wanna show you guys one more thing too in our um, class to go, because today is the last day. Oh, John, you missed it. I already flipped the camera down. So you can't, you can come wave if you want. <laughs> You're fine, you can come through. You Normally sure? I have it up here, so know. people, <laughs> you now he's being shy. Are you live? <laughs> yeah, but it's down here now because I'm gonna do my stamping, so you can come wave. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, man. You're fine, you're fine. All right, so class to go. Today is the last day to RSVP for the Tasteful Touches class to go, which I guess, did I not grab the dies? Oh, I did. Yep, they're right here. <laughs> I'm like, I totally looked right past them. So the Tasteful Touches class to go that obviously features the Tasteful Touches stamp set and the Tasteful Labels dies, right? You also get a quarter pack of the In Good Taste designer series paper. So you can see this is one of those mega packs where it's like, uh, what is that, 12 different sides of paper, I think? Yeah, anyway, it's a lot of paper, right? So, and then you also get a package of the In Good Taste wooden elements too, right? So I'll show, show you the cards real quick. I'm gonna put the link right in the details to um, this Facebook Live video. So if you're interested in signing up, just click on that link. You can do it right there, or I can email you more info if you need it. So these are the cards. So you would make two of each of these cards. I love the paper, the sayings, all the fun little extra details on there, right? So let me know. Today is the last day to sign up for that Tasteful Touches class to go, okay? All right. I think we are ready to do our stamping. Now I just have to find. There. All right. Make sure we're, are we in view? I think we're good. Oh, let's see. Yep. Okay. Oh, I know. I just want to remind you guys, one, one more reminder about the Super Summer Giveaway, mainly because on Facebook Live, if you post a picture of a project, either using the Playful Patterns or the Playing With Patterns, excuse me, Designer Series Paper, using that hashtag Super Summer Giveaway, or if you post a picture of a project um, with the same card layout that I used, using again hashtag super summer giveaway you get two entries into the drawing for the super summer giveaway right you also get entries for one one for each event you attend two for every fifty dollars you spend two if you bring a new class to class three if you join a club including paper pumpkin and in color club five if you buy the starter kit or five if five if you hold your own private party or class so hey sally how are you doing <laughs> all right so let me know if you guys have any questions on that All right, we are ready. Which one do I want to do first? Now I'm trying to decide. 
All right, I think we're gonna do this one right here. So, cause I love the soft, beautiful colors, the, the polka dots on here, right? These kind of airy bubbles almost, right? So then, then I love this stamp set too, the thinking of you always, right? So this is one of those fun, fold oops it kind of popped open there right so a fun fold love doing these funk fold cards right so again i will have the measurements um how to um, cut and score everything on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon after the live okay so this is the stamp set we used the field of flowers stamp set right so there's your always and you can kind of build your fun sentiments we didn't even use any of these pretty flowers but i'm excited to do that to use those very soon right and actually, let me show you again. So here are all of the different um, patterns, right, in the playing with patterns. And it's a six by six piece, pieces of designer series paper. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it's 12 because you get all of those. Again, those are the coordinating colors. And then here is the other half of them, right? So front and back of each of these things. Um, and then the coordinating cardstock colors right there too. So awesome pack. So we are using which one? We're using this one right here on this card and then I'll show you when we go to do the next one which ones we're using on that as well, okay? So let me grab everything out here. Okay. I think we have everything, yep. All right, so let's do our stamping. I'm gonna put that right up there. So I, no, you know what? I'm going to give you measurements first while I'm thinking about that. Okay, so this is a piece of purple posy cardstock. This is our card base that measures five and a half by seven and three quarters. And then I scored it at one and three quarter and six inches. And then that's how we're just going to fold those babies in like that. And it's like a little gate fold almost card there, right? Then we have two pieces of, this is the Whisper White cardstock that fits right on each of those little panels there that measures one and a half by five and a quarter inches. And then our pretty, look at all the bubbles, the designer series paper. And then this is the back side, kind of crazy on the back side. So two pieces of designer series paper that measure one and a quarter by five inches, okay? And actually this piece goes on the inside right here. This is my standard four by five and a quarter piece that we layer all the time inside of our cards, right? So that's what kind of finishes it and makes it look nice inside there. And then I just have some scraps of Whisper White, Purple Posy, and Calypso Coral, because of course those are the colors, right? You can see the beauty right there of Stampin' Up, right? That all of our cardstock and ink and designer series paper and ribbon, everything coordinates so beautifully, right? Okay, so let's do, and actually, I usually do my stamping and then die cutting, but because this is so tight on here, I actually die cut this first and then did the stamping on it. So let's do our die cutting of all of those things right now. We used a couple of different die sets here, so let me show you what we've got. <laughs> we are using my most favorite, I think, this die, I'm probably gonna have to get another set of them because I use this one so much. <laughs> this little spriggy guy. If you don't use any of the other dies in the sunflower dies, this is the one I have used on so, so, so many projects. You guys are probably like, is she ever gonna stop using that? <laughs> but I love it. There's just something about, just whenever you think, oh, it just needs a little something else. This little guy is the answer to, ooh, it just needs a little something else. Okay, stitched shape dies. We're gonna use the oval, the second largest oval is what we're using on our Whisper White cardstock. So we're gonna put that right there, right? All of a sudden I'm like, is that the right size? Yes, it is. Okay, and then my other most favorite set of dies, the Tasteful Touches, right? Is that it? Tasteful Labels dies, yep. And we are gonna use this big baby right here on our Purple Posy. <laughs> yes, they do, don't they? That's right, Vina, very delicate, the polka dots do. And it's just kind of soft and washed looking too, I think. Okay, so let's get these guys cut here. And, okay, we'll go back through. Sorry, that is seriously wiggling, isn't it? Okay. So there's that one. You guys have seen that a million times, right? This is the one though that I love because look at, 
Can you see the detail, that little etching on there? And then I just love the shape of it too, okay? And then my other, can't stop making it. So this little guy, and he, um, I've used him so much, basically I think I need to fling it around in order to get it out at this point. So hold on, let's do that, ready? Yes, it did, it kind of loosened it anyway. Do it one more time, there we go. So there's that one. Okay, we're just gonna scoop those things all right there. Where's the other one? I don't know, it's around here somewhere. We'll find it later. Okay, so now let's do our stamping, right? So we've got our Calypso Coral ink pad. And I found it was easiest to stamp the always first. So we're going to do that always because you can see how it barely fits on here. Okay. And then we've got our thinking of you and the photopolymer makes it easy to line everything up. Here we go, thinking of you always. Isn't that lovely? Who wouldn't want to receive a card that said, had that sentiment on it, right? Okay, all right, I think we can kind of start putting things together here. Let me find, oh ladies, I have been using the new stamp and seal, having lots of fun with this. I actually just ran out of um, snail refills at home. I think I have some at the studio, although now I'm not sure. Anyway, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to break into my stamp and seal, which has been fun to play with. So it, it runs so nice and easy. So we are gonna add this piece to the inside of our card, first of all. We'll get that one done. Love this purple posy color. So pretty, pretty, right? Okay, so then those are there. All right, next we're gonna add our Whisper White cardstock. Okay, oops. Oh, and you know what? I think um, I probably press harder. That was one of the things that I've kind of learned is if you press hard, not so good. You need to have a little bit lighter touch with your stamp and seal than maybe you do, you know, when you're applying the adhesive. So something to kind of keep in mind. If ever um, it kind of breaks off and there, it's not sticky right here, you just advance it forward, actually this way. Nope, this way. <laughs> Let me think about that. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. There we go. Just advance it forward a little bit and you are good to go. Okay, so let's, did I not do it right? Yeah, I feel it. There we go. It's just so, um, it's almost more like delicate, like when it rolls, and maybe because it doesn't make that chick, chick, chick noise. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm still getting a little bit used to it. So, okay, so we're gonna put this one right on there, and then we'll flip this one around, and we'll do this side. There we go. All right. Where is, let's find, we've got our, we're gonna put a dimensional. So I just put one right on, right about there, basically, because I want it to, actually, let's see, which, which I want that on top, I think, right? So we're gonna do right about there, right? And these will lay down better once you kind of put there, okay. So we're gonna add our little spriggy guy, if I can get my fingers onto him. We're just gonna kind of put him right about there. Then we're gonna add a couple more dimensionals on the back of this little baby. Right, pop that, always thinking of you. And then last step, I thought this was perfect. This really kind of light, airy polka dot -y worked really nicely with the polka dots. You guys have all seen this ribbon. Thank goodness it carried over yet again. I think we've had this for a couple of years now, but I still love this white polka dot tulle ribbon. So let's see, we're gonna make our pretty bow. It catches a little bit, that's the one thing with the tulle, um, but it also makes it easy to make pretty bows too, but it kind of catches on itself as you're uh, working with it. All right, actually let me snip this little baby off right there. And then we'll do that one maybe about there. And we're gonna pop a glue dot on. Well, hello, Miss Kathy, how are you doing? So glad you can be here. I know, uh, Philomena, aren't you so happy that it carried over again too? Yes, it just, it's so, like I said, light and airy and delicate and perfect 
for the other polka dots, right? It just works really well. So thinking of you always, love, love, love that sentiment, right? And I love this card too. And then you have lots of room. You could stamp something on the inside there too, um, if you would like. Or what was fun was I received a card like this a couple of years ago and I have held onto it because I love the um, layout of it. Yes, good morning, Miss Kathy. Um, and what was fun about it was how she wrote on it on the inside. She actually wrote right here and right here. So it kind of kept the beauty of the card too. So she didn't write right in the middle. So you couldn't even see, um, see it, you know, until you opened it. And then, like I said, she wrote there and there. So that was kind of fun sideways, right? So I think she wrote Dear Amy and then whatever she wrote and then ended down at the bottom. So you can still write nicely in this card too and, and kind of keep the beauty of it with that little white peeking out behind there. So thank you guys. I know. I thought that was really fun too. And it's just, it's all about that paper. So you could do, if you wanted to do something more fun and funky, you could do any of these other patterns. Like I said, that's the one we use there, but you could really use about any of these patterns just because it's just a little bit, you know, some of these are pretty bold, right? Like this guy's pretty bold, but you're just going to use a little panel of it there too. So, all right. Thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed that one. All right. Let's scoot this one out of the way. I will show you the next one featuring more of the fun playing with patterns designer series paper. Okay, scootin', scootin', scootin'. Actually, maybe I wanna keep that. So don't forget, that's your host code right there that you can use if you wanna order any of these products. Oh, oh that's funny. I have my little note, it says stamp on the inside too. Clearly did not see that. Brought everything out to get set up for Facebook Live and missed that note. So anyway, there's no stamping on the inside. Maybe we will, we'll see if we can, I didn't bring another clear black over. We'll see if we can find a stamp that would fit. But this is kind of fun too. So here's another pattern um, of the Playing With Patterns Designer Series paper. I love stripes. Stripes are my thing. I love those stripes. So that's one of my favorite patterns in there right now too. So we used a cute little happy birthday stamp. This is another, actually these are all three patterns of paper. Four, actually this one, this one, this one, and that one all part of the Playing With Patterns Designer Series paper. So this one is right there, that's the front and back. And let's see, I think the others are over here. <clears throat> so this is that heart right there. And then here are my stripes. So I use the stripes obviously right here and then the polka dots are what we punched with that little baby flower punch there too. So then this one opens like this. And what I had meant to do was stamp on the inside and I forgot to do that. It was one of those afterthoughts. I was looking at it later and like, oh, we need to stamp on the inside. So we'll see if we can't get that done there too. Okay, let's grab. We are actually not using any dies on this one. It's all punches. So that's kind of unique. Oh, and I forgot I wanted to show you guys too. Some of the other this is kind of, I don't know what happened to this, but <laughs> it's kind of pretty like that too, right? So this is some of the Playing With Patterns ribbon combo pack. So if you can see, I'll just kind of hold this up. It's kind of fun like this, right? So we've got a purple posy and white kind of a stripe in the middle there. This one must be Coastal Cabana, right? I think. Yeah, Coastal Cabana is this one right here. Just kind of a nice, I don't even know what kind of ribbon... Oh, I don't know. I was, it's not, I don't know. I'm trying to, it's pretty sturdy because I almost want to say like an organza, but it's pretty sturdy. It's got with those little stripes in it, but it's very pretty. So you can see we could make a pretty bow. We should probably put a bow on our card too, huh? I didn't think about it at the time, but there you can see it makes nice bows, right? You have to pull a little bit tight because it's, it's kind of crunchy, crunchy, sturdy there. So you have to pull a little bit, but anyway, I love Coastal Kamana, one of my favorite colors, right? And then this one is a really pretty, um, it is Night of Navy, It's it almost seems a little bit lighter. A really, this is a very thin, right? Not very wide. Um, this is kind of a silk, I don't know if it tells us in the catalog what these are made out of, but very, very pretty also. And they look so good together too, don't they? You could do something fun with all of those ribbons, right? So I had to show you those too, because I think they're so pretty loving all of the new ribbon and embellishments in our catalog. Oops, we don't need that one right now, do we? Okay, all my parts and pieces here. 
Okay, and we use this Many Mates stamp set. So we've got the happy birthday right there. We could do maybe it's your day on the inside. I was trying to see happy birthday. Oh, I'm glad you were born. That could be kind of fun. Or today is all about you. Those would both be good ones. You think it's a grow grain? Maybe. Yeah, maybe, Sally. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm always like, okay, what should we do? What should we do? Let's talk about dimensions and how we score this card, right? So this is one of our new Misty Moonlight, one of our new in colors. Actually, I'm going to flip it this way because I think it's easier to talk about scoring this way. Okay, so we have our five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. We scored it at two inches and six inches, okay? So then, actually this is the top, so we would fold it that way and that way, right? Just like that, okay? And then what else do we have? These are just kind of scraps for our punching. You can see of what we're gonna do with those right there, right? And then this is some more Whisper White and Misty Moonlight for our stamping and punching also. These are the pieces, actually we don't need that one, that you need to know dimensions on because that one's gonna fit right there and that one's gonna fit right there, right? So we have this piece of designer series paper measures two and a quarter by five and a quarter, and then the bottom one is one and three quarter by five and a quarter. And then this one is a little bit smaller, it threw me. So on the inside, I believe, yeah, this one is three and three quarters by five and one quarter. So it's not quite as wide as sometimes we make our cards, okay? So again, three and three quarters by five and one quarter on the inside. And again, I will have all the dimensions on my blog this afternoon so you can recreate these fun cards too. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna do a stamping right on here, our happy birthday with our new Misty Moonlight ink. So we're gonna pop that open, okay. All right, we got this one saying, Happy birthday. Ooh, that did not work at all. I wonder why that happened like that. I feel like I'm getting a good, you do wanna be a little bit careful cause you don't wanna get, if you press really hard, you might get ink inside of places you don't want, but that looks better right there. Now let's see, actually I'm gonna, oh, I did, yeah, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I wanna stamp on the inside. So we're gonna take, this is from our other card. I wanna clean this off cause I wanna put one of my Okay, while I'm at it, I'm just going to clean this one too. Okay, there we go. So on here, I want to add, which one? I think I think I like the today is all about you, if you can see that right there. We're going to we're going to try to find that one on here. Oh boy. <laughs> and since this is one of those um Amy, why don't you use your labels? Okay, let's see. I bet I can I can do this. I know I can. Today is all about you. Do you guys see it? Can someone point to where it is? I am like, okay, maybe we need the glasses. Sorry, should have had this all prepped and ready to go. Oh, there, there it is. It's upside down. That's why I couldn't read it. Okay. <laughs> all right, we're going to be okay. Here we go. So I hope if not, we might be surprised by what it says, but let's try it out. Today is all about you. I think that's what we have here. There, yes, okay, phew. Okay, did it, ha ha. <laughs> it's the little things, ladies, I'm telling you. All right, so we've got those, we've got that. Let's do our punching, okay? So that's gonna go on the inside. Hmm. Okay, so we have our, the two, um, heart punches from the heart punch back, right? That makes sense. Hello, Miss Amy. How are you doing? Okay, so we're going to stamp or punch. Happy birthday to you right there. And then also with this fun, let's see. Oh, you know what I didn't think about? Am I going to, it's almost not wide enough, but just barely. Okay, because I want it to go the same way. I like how those scallops are running. So shoo, just barely got that one in. Okay, and then with the scallop edge heart, we are gonna punch just a couple of Misty Moonlight hearts right there. And then we have our little small bloom punch. So just out of this little, this was left over I think from my DSP samplers or something, so. These little squares there. We're going to use that one right there. 
And I think that is it. Yeah. Okay, we don't need this piece. Get that one out of the way. Okay, let's put our card together. Yeah, I think I got everything. <laughs> okay, so we are going to add some adhesive on the back of this one and the back of this one. I must press too hard. I'm going to have to work on that. Well, that's all right. I'll learn on here with you guys, and you'll know what to do and what not to do, right? Okay, we got that one right there, and then that's just going to stick on there. Okay, so we need some, we're going to put some dimensionals up higher, I think, on both of those there. Okay, all right, scoot that one out of the way so we don't lose it, and we're going to add some adhesive on the back here. Oops. Quiet, it's very quiet now, right? Am I missing anything? <laughs> yes, best way to teach. Watch me screw up. <laughs> That's kind of what it's feeling like right now there, but at least I know which way the thing rolls. I was having a moment earlier there where I couldn't quite figure that out. Okay, and that like stuck underneath there. Okay, let's add this one and get it to the inside of our card now. Okay. And then we'll pop this one on, my favorite stripes right here. And then this guy on the bottom. And I love, it's almost like a cloudy sky, right? That paper there. Very pretty. Well, and like I said, Coastal Cabana being one of my favorite colors. I think that's the other part about it. Okay, so we're just going to peel these babies off and see. Okay, so we've got our happy birthday and then the little hearts, maybe right about there. Okay, we're just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of this guy pop him just on the corner and then the last fun little bit of bling uh oh yeah one person to paint a kit yeah i know that teaching thing is it it can be hard sometimes can't it okay so i do want to make sure i have my paper snips because i've been finding that these you really have to kind of get underneath these to make sure you get the glue dot. But I love the colors on these also. So we're just gonna add that little dot, resin dot. So these are the playing with patterns resin dots, right? So we've got Coastal Cabana. I think that this must be Crushed Curry, actually. I was gonna say Bumblebee, but I'm thinking because this says Crushed Curry right there, these must be Crushed Curry, and then this is Purple Posy, right? So love these fun little, they're the resin, right? Playing with peasant patterns, they're the resin, their little enamel dot also. So very, very cool, right? So I love, love all of the new bling like we we're talking about, right? Okay, so ladies, we did it. I was thinking I was gonna be talking my ear off, but I guess, I, I think I talked really fast today basically is what happened. So we got through all of that pretty darn quickly, didn't we? So, all right, let me grab, sister's calling, sorry. That probably like blanked out on you guys for a sec, didn't it? All right, I'll have to call you back, Shelly. <laughs> My um, niece's open house, we finally decided, or we, she, they, they basically finally decided they were gonna have a, a graduation open house for her. So we're doing it tomorrow. So I've been baking um, whenever <laughs> in any of my free time to try to help out um, and get some things ready for that. So I'm sure that's what she's calling about is something to do with the open house tomorrow. So I have to get back with her. So, okay. So in the meantime, ladies, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed both of these cards, right? So don't forget if you put at least a $30 online order and you're going to get these two make and takes, right? Right here, make and takes or finished cards, whichever you prefer, right? Make sure you use the host code, the N2NT6VJF. And if you bump your order up to $50, you also get a pack of the Elegant Faceted Gems or Super Buried. You decide the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. Either one you get to pick for free with your $50 order. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys um, had fun stamping with me today. I missed everybody last Friday. So glad to be back. Um, you guys have a great weekend and we will see you next week. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much.